Hello, listeners. You are listening to the End the Epidemic, West Virginia's Fight Against Opioid Abuse podcast. I will be your host this evening, Donnie Sand. I'd like to take a moment to say thank you to our sponsor, St. Joseph's Hospital, St. Jude's, West Virginia's Drug Abuse Prevention Organization, the Huntington, West Virginia Fire Department, Police Department, and D.A.R.E. program, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for supporting and being part of our team in our vigorous fight against the epidemic of opioid abuse. You may suffer from op- opioid abuse. You may have a friend, family member, an acquaintance that suffers from this horrible addiction. We want you to know that we are here for you. Sometimes it's hard to accept there's someone there when you feel so alone. I know firsthand the terrible grip that holds on to people's lives, the pain and the turmoil parents go through and the innocent children witness that witness horrible things as a result of opioid abuse. As a firefighter paramedic, I'm constantly running on people who suffer from this disease. I call it a disease because it treats people like one. It takes away freedoms, dreams, ambitions, your heart and your soul. It holds on to those key life elements and holds you captive to its effects. My most memorable call was about a year ago when I got called for an overdose of a 23-year-old female. We arrived on scene. Her parents were screaming for us to run inside and save her. We grabbed her equipment and got to her. There was paraphernalia on the ground on the desk in the room. We found her face down on her bed right next to her boyfriend who had also died of an overdose at the same time. Two beautiful, young, vibrant people succumbed to their addictions to heroin. They were surfers, musicians. She was a model. She had her whole life ahead of her. So did he. Their parents were devastated and their younger siblings were scarred and their friends were mortified. These surfing musicians had lost their lives and their future to do great things for a terrible habit. I can't think of anything sadder. We later read on the news article that no one knew about their addiction. No one knew that they had been using heroin for a long time and they had grown tolerant of it. They felt that they needed to up the dose for a better high. Can this happen to you? Has this happened to you? Has this happened to someone you know? This is a national problem with a focused geographic area in southwest West Virginia that our program and the epidemic is focusing on. We're fighting a two-front battle. Our purpose as an organization is to find both, both is to fight both of these fronts with education and early decision making for young uh, adolescent children in elementary and middle school, and intervention and counseling for those already affected by heroin and other and other op- opioid abuse. On September 9th, 2019, we're kicking off our organization with a public barbecue meet and greet. You'll get to know me, our staff, the fire department and police department will be there. We will get to know you'll get to know our purpose and drive, and hopefully you can catch you can catch on, onto our drive to help West Virginia's fight this battle. There's, for the kids, there's going to be amazing food. There's going to be jump houses. There's going to be a lot of fun. After September 9th, the police department will start making their rounds to elementary and middle schools to implement a D.A.R.E. program and educate adolescents about the risks and dangers of opioid abuse and other drug abuse. Through contacts, advertisements, and social media campaigns, we will begin to intervene, counsel, and support those young adults and their families to get through their addiction and to help them fight. Uh, Sorry, to help them find the light at the end of the tunnel. We are calling you, the ordinary citizen of your community, to reach out, speak up, and save the lives of the people in the grips of addiction. You want to make a difference and see uh, see the life come back into someone's life when they beat opioids? Come and meet us on, on September 9th. We'd love to meet you. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Keep updated on our upcoming events here at our weekly at our weekly and the epidemic podcast or or at our website and the epidemic wv like west virginia.org and contact us at 1-888-555-2234 if you or someone you know or love or love needs help our lines are open 24 7 365 thank you and god bless